Hello YouTube, this is Kwani himself and we have a 4th place regional top at General Games Frankston and what did you play today or yesterday? Uh, well I played Runic, um, Runic Mystic Mine with Dogmatica. Alright, let's see the cards. Right. Uh, so you play 3 matches of Fiend, um, obviously easy to summon when you just activate a Runic quick spell. Uh, fusion summon and then tribute. Yeah. Um, it's, and I'm playing the the D7 engine. Um, <laughs> just the three in the D7 and the Ecclesia. Um, and there's no really search target for Ecclesia. Um, the idea is um, it's just a discard fodder for um, Hugin. Uh, also, if some, I come across where like I have more than six or seven cards when Mystic Mine is active, um, so I usually discard this and then activate the Nadi Servant again to pitch and then send Garura to draw one or send uh, Kid Colossus to mill five. Um, ah. Yeah, so the usual targets Kid Coloss, uh, Garura, and uh, Entis to clear board. So it's yeah. very versatile. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like the Gale Dogra, but you're not paying life points. Ah, yes. Yeah. Um, does he. Oh, does the extra deck lock come up at all, or do you just do it at the end? I do it at the end, yeah. The I end. just make sure it doesn't clash. Um, I, I never do it at the start, um, yep. if I need to fusion summon from the extra deck. I'm so bad. Uh, so for the runic engine, um, pretty standard. I try to max out most of them. Um, max out all the good ones. Um, so the tip, flashing fire, freezing curse, um, destruction, and slumber. Um, also one of the golden droplet, um, smiting storm, and the dispelling. Yep. Um, and of course the fill smell. Uh, I only have two. I would run three, um, but it's fine. The third one never came up anyway. Yeah. Uh, I can always recycle it with Jerry. So. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, that's for, that's all for the runic engine. Um, uh, MVP, Mystic Mine. Ah, uh, yeah. Picard, yeah. Picard. Not much, not much to say. Uh, T0. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the terraforming, um, acting as my third uh, yeah. fountain, or my fourth mystic mine. Uh, Demise of the land. Uh, also, I run floodgates for just another wing con. Um, yep. So that's rivalry, uh, goes in, and it can be over. And the one one of Metabus. Yeah. For the side deck. Um, so the three solemn judgment. Uh, so you don't get evenly three imperm. Uh, this is for the spell canceller. Um, for the chaos hunter. Um, <laughs> it's your out to that. Um, yeah. I'll do that out. Yeah. It's pretty good. Exactly. Uh, three evenly match. Uh, this is for the T mostly. The two dogwood. Uh, ah. Just to apply pressure um, going into time. Um, uh, the two curse seal. Oh. So uh, they can't activate the cosmic cyclone. Um, yeah, it's very good. Very good. Uh, also, the two master change. Um, this is for going first against uh, T. Um, I thought this was, this was better than um, D Shifter because D Shifter kind of still kind of hurts me with um, with all my quick spell getting banished. Um, with, with, with this one, you can summon it off. Um, you can summon Dark Law of uh, Jerry because Jerry is a dark. Um, and discarding a Rudy card is never that bad anyway. Uh, or you can discard Ecclesia because it's a discard for Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, I actually did summon this once, um, and it was actually very good. For the extra deck, um, max out all the Runic fusion, uh, Hugin. Jerry and Moon. Um, MVP, they were all MVP for me. Um, so obviously this one protects you from Lightning Storm, Heart of Fair Duster, or even um, Mystic Mind getting destroyed on the end phase. Oh, yeah, very good. So, yeah, it's very good. It's very. I feel like it's like designed to protect Mystic Mind, uh, pretty much. Um, and Jerry, it's really good going second as well. Um, uh, you go second to clear boards, uh, and it's not once per turn, so you go battle phase, uh, quick spell, summon Jerry, uh, attack, pop summon one, another one, yeah, and summon another one, pop one. So yeah. Uh, also this one, yeah, I use this a few times. Um, yeah, one of the games uh, going. 
just you know, pressuring time. Yeah. 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 Uh, for the, the D7 target, uh, one Entis, um, two Kikalos, um, two Garura. Um, so I couldn't find my second Entis, so I just played two Kikalos. Um, but I would play the second Entis instead of uh, Kikalos. Um, but yeah, the second Entis never came up anyway. But, um, but yeah, so Kikolos obviously to mill five. Um, so uh, in draw three. Yeah. Um, free draws. Yeah, mill mill all your uni cards. Uh, and all three this one, just free draw one. Yeah. Um, and for the dark, uh, for mass change to target dark. Yeah, should play Enki. Enki's better. Enki. Oh. Yeah, attack directly for game. Yo. <laughs> Uh, well, that's it. That's all. Uh, any shout outs or anything? Uh, shout out to the GG boys, um, the general games, Frankston, obviously. Um, Josh Vine did a very good job handling everything. So. Uh, and shout out to Loy for filming this and um, being a good bloke. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.